Hi everyone, this is going to be a very basic Photoshop tutorial. So this is more for the person that wants to do Photoshop. Um, you've downloaded the free trial and you just want to create some, say, little images for Christmas. Something simple as adding someone into a background. So I'm using this background that um, I created and added my son into um, and I've got this one on my Etsy store so if you have purchased this background this is a really good one to show you how to use it so let's go into the pictures that I've taken so I've got two pictures here because I was really rushed taking the photos so this is just taken on my iPhone so I've got an iPhone 14 Pro now um, I didn't realize until after I took it that his hands are blurred so I took another photo so I don't have blurred hands so I can change that now if you're taking a photo it's very important to um, take note of the background that you're going to be adding it into so with this background you can see that the cup is directly in the center of the picture when we don't have we're not looking down at the cup, we're not looking up at the cup, it's smack bang in the middle. So when I took the photo, it was the same. I'm not taking the camera angle down and I'm not taking the camera angle from the bottom. I got down to his eye level and took the photo of him. Um, I wanted his hands to look like they were holding onto the cup. Now, if you're doing this, maybe grab a box or something like that so you don't have to do as much work with the hands. Um, obviously it doesn't take me too long to shift hands around and things these days because I do so much Photoshop but straight box rather than a curved edge because the edge of the cup is straight now there are many different ways to cut out a subject from the background and the clearer your the less messy your background is the better now I'm going to show you the two ways to use your AI that is now in your Photoshop beta version and it really helps with cutting out images. You still do have to do a little bit of work um, but it does a pretty good job. So let's go over to a uh, layer over here. Um, I've already played around with it so hold on. Okay, so here we go. We've got a background and it is locked. So we want to unlock this layer so we can work on it in Photoshop. So I want you to click that lock and then this gives you the ability to cut it out. So there's a, like a one step that you can do to cut out an image and that is by going into your properties and you click move, remove background. If you do not have this properties panel on your Photoshop setup all you need to do is go into your Windows bar and this will give you all the stuff that you can add on to your um, setup of your workspace on Photoshop so if I take properties off it's gone so let's go in and we'll scroll down to properties add properties in so if you're on your adjustments layers and you already have properties there, just go back to properties and you just got to scroll down, quick actions, remove background. And let's see what it does. Okay. So it's done an okay job, um, but I don't want to sit here and have to get my brush and brush my hat back in. Okay that's just too much work for me so what we're gonna do so I'm pressing command Z which um, takes back the action that I just did we are gonna go over to the side and you've got this little square um, probably about four bars down this is your object selection tool if you do not have that I want you to press control click and you probably are just sitting on a different one so just click the object selection tool and it looks like this little box with a cross so what we're gonna do is if you pull it over the image it kind of tries to find what parts you want to cut out so I'm gonna go over these two and try to get both of them together 
if my background wasn't so busy, it'd probably do a better job, but I made it a bit complicated. So let's, I'm just clicking and pulling down from the corner. And let's see, so it done an okay job, but it's missed out a little bit. So I'm just gonna do it again. There we go. So I will have to fix up down here, but that's okay, because I'll probably get rid of that hand and I might have to fix up there. But let's go across to our layer over here. Go down the bottom. This is a little um, rectangle with a circle in it and it will come up with layer mask. Click on that and you've removed that background. Now we're gonna click on this layer, hold it down, drag it across to your Christmas background. Pop him in there. Now he's in the cup, he's not the right size. So on your computer, Command T, and you are going to resize your image. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna resize it until this hand looks good. And then I'm gonna replace the other hand. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna get rid of this hand here. So I'm gonna go on this black layer mask, click. And I need to get my brush tool. So you can either come over to the panel and pick, click on your brush tool. Again, if it's not showing your brush tool, control click and just scroll down and find brush tool. Then these are your colors. So when you're working with a layer mask, your white reveals and your black hides so we want to hide this part so i'm going to have to switch them over i can click this button to switch them over or i can click x on my um, keyboard to switch them over now i want my brush to be hard because i don't want to have soft edges so i've just gone up and clicked hard round brush and we're just going to go in and remove this hand. There we go. And we're gonna go remove this part as well. All right, so then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click and select his hand. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go up to our object selection tool, select his hand. There we go. Click your layer mask, hold the layer, drag it across, pop it down, and then I'm going to Command T, and I'm just going to make it smaller and reposition this hand. And let's zoom in. And do some tidying up so we've got some little things to tidy up so I'm just gonna fast forward this bit while I tidy everything up okay so I just went on the layer mask and I used um, my black I switched between my black and my white brush and I just tidied up the edges okay now if you really want to if you're happy with how this looks you can just leave it at that if you want to do a little bit more to your image uh, stay tuned and i'll just show you some little tweaks to make um, it look a little bit more realistic and a bit more blended in so shadows are one we need to add some shadows under the hand so we're going to go back on our background layer and i'm going to come back to this little plus down the bottom and add a layer then what I want you to do is grab your eyedropper tool and find a really shaded spot on the cup and click that because that's the color we're going to use for the shadows. Go back to our brush tool. We're going to go up here where it says eight and we're going to come down and click soft round brush. Now to increase your brush size, you use your bracket keys on your keyboard. And I'm just going to go underneath the hands here. So nothing too crazy. Just a little drawing underneath and then we're going to go over here to the 
we're going to change the mode from normal to multiply and we're going to turn this opacity down to where we think it looks right there we go okay now you can go around with a brush on your layer mask and fix up all the edges and get the hair looking perfect or you can speed up your time by using the AI generated fill which is on your Photoshop beta versions. I will show you how it works and how simple it is and what we're going to do is just tidy up around here and around this part and I'll show you how I do that. So we're going to go into this lasso tool. Again if the lasso tool is not showing up control click and select lasso tool. So with the lasso tool, we're just going to go around and we're going to draw like a little selection of the areas that's all messy like that. And it comes up with this bar. We're going to click generate fill. It's asking me what I want to generate. I'm just going to leave it up um, to the AI to decide and click generate. And then I'll show you another prompt that works really well as well. So usually if you just leave it blank, it can work out that it needs to tidy up the edges for you and blend it into the background. The generative fill is not very good with hands though. All right. And then it gives you three options, which are all pretty good. Um, I think I'll have that one. Uh, so you can click it again to generate and then it'll give you another three options, but happy with that one and then let's just do this bit around his face um, so you can do something like smooth edge oops I spelled that wrong let's cancel that I might get confused uh, smooth smooth edge and this one usually works quite well There we go, that's not bad. So you've got three choices there. Okay, so let's go with that one. Or you can keep clicking it. It's up to you. So now what I want to do is uh, we're going to go to our little magnifying glass fit screen. And move that away. Now let's color grade it a little bit. So the easiest way to do that is using your filters. So, but first we're going to stamp the all these layers together. So we're working on just one layer. So command option shift E and you've got this one layer. Then we're gonna go up to our filters bar. We're gonna scroll down to camera raw filter. Click that. And then I just wanna work on my subject. I like how the background is. I don't wanna play around with it. I just wanna work on my subject to blend into the background. So come up to this little circle in the corner here. Click subject. It's done the cup as well so you can subtract or add and just brush out what areas you don't want it to do but let's just do it on the cup we'll do it all together so let's start with some light so as you can see on the tablecloth most of the light is coming from here which um, I took that into consideration with where I placed him on the cup so it'll be a bit more shaded over here so let's just bring the light down just slightly and you can play around with the contrast too. But the main thing that I want to change is blend him into these colors. So to do that, we're going to have to turn up the temperature, a bit more yellow and a bit more purple. There you go, that already makes such a big difference. And then let's give like a nice filtered look. So we'll scroll down to effects. We're going to drag the texture down so if you drag it all the way, you can see that it's that nice um, blurred look. But we don't want to take the details away too much. So we want to blur that skin and that shirt a bit. So if you pull that down to about 30, and then you're going to bring up the clarity just so you can keep some of those features on his face. Let's do that. And click OK. And there you go. You've got... Um, a very simple little way to uh, use Photoshop for Christmas. So I'll put links to everything in the description below. 
If you have any questions, let me know. If I went through something too fast and you're not too sure, please let me know so I can create another video. Um, but if you're new to Photoshop or considering on doing it, um, removing backgrounds is the best place to start. Okay. Please like and subscribe if you like this content so I can know I know what to create for next time. Thank you. Bye.